Cece. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. My pleasure. Freak. Great game last night. That's what I do, right? Indeed, have a seat. Pagnotti. How you doing? Thought you'd be selling used cars by now. Funny, comedian. I thought you would have invested in some new clothes, being a team owner and all. I see you still rocking that goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helped me pay the bills. Plus, our mother loves him. Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. Well, so you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it, your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. We've already put a plan in place that's finish, going to address Dom, all your concerns please, and issues. Let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep and were fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. I told you Vic was gonna be your downfall and I was right. Something has to change now or we're not gonna need your services any longer. If this is about that Twitter stuff, Vic was playing. Okay, it was a joke. It's not about that. It's everything. But like I told you before, Vic is my best friend. I can't just cut him off. He's practically family. Not really. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, Dom. I'm saying it. Freak and his friend Vic are a problem for me and this organization. And I called you in here to figure out how we all together can fix this problem. And right now, I'm only seeing one solution. I agree that Freak may need to make some adjustments in his personal life off the court, but that's a learning process. We both know that. But this, this almost sounds like a threat. And Dom Pagnotti doesn't take too kindly to threats. Is this a threat? Call it what you will. We all know that Vic is a problem. The only person who doesn't seem to realize that is my brother. I'm sorry, bro, but enough is enough. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I have a problem with how you're saying it. Now, I know we can come to some understanding without all the ultimatums or threats. Can we all come to a understanding, a compromise? No, no more compromises. I already warned Freak. I told you, don't be a hero, cut that zero. It's cut Vic loose or we trade Freak. It's that simple. Fine, we'll go sign with another team. Good luck with that, Pagnotti. Because of Vic, Freak's reputation precedes him. No, because of Freak's God-given talent, his reputation precedes him. Everybody's been talking. Dom, you know how this works. This is not about you and me and our history. This is about your client. Help him. You're talking as if I'm invisible. You're talking around me, about me, but not to me. Vic has always had my back. And I've given this team everything I got. I practice hard. I play hard. Yeah, some nights I got it, some nights I don't. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot around. But every time I'm on that car, I've always given my best. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. Try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Like, come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have people loyal to you no matter what? People you can't cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They could tell me stop hanging with Vic. What makes you think they won't tell me stop talking to you? You remember in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic was the one to get some friends just to walk me home. And when they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. When I got my scholarship, it was Vic who put the word on the streets that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protecting me. And sir, I, I know, I know Vic is crazy. But before all the hype and the lights, media, fans, it was just me and Vic. He's always been there. I mean, if y'all don't like that, I don't know what to say. It hurts me to say this, but I see his point. What you don't understand is that the league doesn't have your back anymore. Not like they used to. They try, but it's too much. Social media has changed everything. And this last incident with Vic, that was the final straw. It was a joke. It wasn't funny. You know it wasn't a joke. Vic was defending you, stepping in to protect your honor by attacking another teammate like that? 
talking about his manhood, his wife, his kids, his family, so you can be the big dog on the court? What's on call for? And they all know your relationship with Vic, so they think it's coming from you. Well, that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? What Vic is doing isn't right. He's bringing you down, and people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you gotta do, that's your call. But let me tell you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off? Yeah, I did for a while. Friends, business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought I couldn't cut off. But I learned that sometimes you gotta make the hard decisions. I mean, some of these people, they were just bad for me. They were bringing me down. They weren't making me better. They were good for the time that they were there, but I grew up, not in age and maturity, but in mind and spirit. I was ready for the next level in my life. And I'll be honest with you, I've been on the receiving end of that. I've been cut off before myself, and yeah, it hurt at the time, but looking back, they were doing the right thing for me. Just don't tell my ex-wife that, Pagnotti. So what's the next move? The next move is freaks, it always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. The snafu should have been cleaned up a long time ago. With or without you, we got games to win. Freak, you gotta handle your business. Okay, we've all said our piece. You might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. So when this is on you. I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Yvette, please. Cece. Yvette. Where's Dom? I had him call you. Why? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. My brother is deeply in love with you, and I'm ready to put our differences aside if you are. Really? On a strain. I'm, I'm with it. Team Freak. Team Freak. All right, so if you're going to be down with the team, I got to show you the dap. Oh, the dap? Yeah. OK. <laughs> I'm dressed like this. Oh. One, two, three, three shoot, shoot, swish. Swish. Yeah. Again. Play. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, swish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that. Cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>